don't like guts or gore, which has made me very opposed to dissecting animals, specifically in science class. I had a junior high school science class where we just had to learn science stuff which is generally how junior high school science classes go. One of these classes, we had to dissect a frog and learn what's inside. Very gross. I don't like that. So everybody was getting ready to do frog science. Lots of groups, lots of dead frogs. And me, who really did not want to cut open a frog, let alone any animal. And because I didn't really want to cut anything open, when I was going to join my group, I was doing it very slowly and lazily. I did some stretches to buy me a bunch of time before or the inevitable of frog gutting. But then my teacher looks over at me and notices me standing like this. Andy, you don't have to dissect a frog today. I look up, confused. There was some pause. Do you need to go to the nurse's office? She thinks I'm feeling sick and that I'm prepping myself physically to go open a frog and cut its flesh. I noticed an opportunity. Oh, I don't know, I just... Need to breathe a little, I think. Feel free to sit down. I'm not gonna force you to dissect a frog if you're gonna be sick. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So, I do. My group was a little salty that they had to do all the work and I gotta skip out, but I didn't care because I didn't have to cut open a frog. So I was thinking about that story lately and I realized something. That affected me 0% in life. I am no different as a person because I didn't cut open a frog. You wanna know what's inside a frog? Guts. I don't need to cut open a frog to know what's inside. Do not misunderstand me. Education is very important, but does anybody else feel like the pursuit of good letter sometimes misses the point of going to school? Like looking back at school, I think there's a ton of things that could be changed. First of all, bring back recess. We need more breaks. Why do we have to work all the time? I wanna sleep. And for teachers too, we're all working too much. We have so much technology now that could help the teaching process. And with the save time, we could just chill. Let the information digest a little, you know? And like, just get rid of the frog dissecting stuff and like some other things, except for that one time where my science teacher came in with a bunch of potassium and put it inside a bucket of water and didn't tell us what was about to happen. Keep that class. But the other classes, like the frog dissecting, I don't want that. This is biased, but I think that recess would be a better option where we could do I don't know, something fun. There was also this money class in junior high school where we had to start a business. But I must ask first, do you know how to protect yourself from this? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I, clearly not. But do you know how to protect yourself online? Let me tell you about NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network service that helps you protect yourself online. That was because you didn't use NordVPN. That's on you. NordVPN can help you stop that intrusive tracking. This boomerang represents NordVPN. You have to give it a second. NordVPN also helps you block malware so you can protect your computer. NordVPN saved my marriage. You can use NordVPN on multiple devices to help protect your loved ones as well. Use promo code Ice Cream Sandwich to get NordVPN's two year plan plus four extra months free. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. I had a class once where the class was split into three separate groups and tasked with making something to sell. And it was actually super fun. One group decided on making t-shirts. Another group decided on making special pens with a bunch of frillies on it. And our group decided to make magnets. We had some people to promote and sell. Some people manufacture the magnets and I designed and doodled the magnets. They're really old now, but this is what they look like. We were tasked with calculating costs and we had to aim to make a profit on our product. The t-shirt team did the worst. The pens did second best, and we did the best. We made somewhere north of like $100. But for some reason, there was a teacher from a different shop class that thought she could just take our money. You guys used school equipment for making this product, so you have to pay me for the materials. Which was really unfair, because we invested in the magnet paper, the printing, and everything, except for using a slice cutter machine in school. That was the only thing we used. But she ended up taking like 50 of our dollars. If we were told we needed to pay fees before the class started, that would have been like whatever. But she made up that rule out of thin air. I don't think she even took money from anybody else either. I'm pretty sure we got robbed by a teacher. Either way, other than that part, it was a super fun class that had real world application and I found to be very useful. Most of the class was figure it out yourself kind of style. So I think it could be a little bit better, like teach us how to make a budget or here's how you don't get robbed. But at the end of the day, still thumbs up class. And I think that should be 
We should look into doing that more for other people. What is one thing that we deal with daily but are not educated about in the slightest? One time I was watching a video about a story and this guy was talking about a lady that was fighting at the store. He was in line to get some groceries, just a normal thing, and she budged him out of thin air. Like an adult did that. He said, hey, please don't budge me. And she says, oh, I've always been here. As if he doesn't have eyes. And then when confronted by multiple people, she yelled at them and said that she was the victim of being bullied. And it made me so mad. Like, how could you even think that you're going to trick people? And if you're going to play the victim, everybody saw you. I thought about it for like an hour out of my day. Later, I was watching more videos and I saw a bunch that were like catching ghost footage on camera. And it was obviously fake. <laughs> Who believes this kind of stuff? It's a good thing I'm not gullible and have critical thinking skills. Hey, everybody. Remember that story the other day about budging? I lied. I wanted to see how many people believed me if I lied on the internet. And wow, it was a lot of you. First of all, don't lie on the internet. It is bad and I'm easily fooled. I think maybe if there was a class on media literacy, especially since the thing we're doing the most is consuming media, I think that'd be a pretty good class. Maybe I'm saying that because I'm just really embarrassed that I got tricked. Or here's an idea. What if instead of any class, there were no classes and like students could just pick something to study and then all the teachers would be mentors for the students and give them direction and resources to learn what they need to learn to achieve what they want. Like inventing a machine or learning about bacteria. We probably have weekly articles where some student invents something that changes the world. 17 year old invents easy and cheap tests for common disease. 15 year old makes popular mobile game with the power of thought. 16 year old makes ominous sphere that knows your thoughts and can tell you the future. Um, uh, are these good ideas? I have no idea. Did I share them on the internet? Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Thanks for watching. If you have an idea for a class that should be in school, 